Hey, it's Adam with Productivity Academy, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about some tools I've been using uh, to quickly summarize articles. So there are a lot of services out there. Um, honestly, you could go do some searches for some other videos and find a lot more, but these are two that I'm going to go over that I think are higher quality um, than a lot that I've seen out there. Um, also, there's some additional features that I think are kind of nice. So to be upfront, both of these have uh, free accounts, which is what I've been using. And I'm really trying to decide which one to go with as a paid option for higher volume of reading. Um, all it is, they just restrict it, like how many articles or words you can summarize, um, which I think is fair for a free trial or a free account. Um, I think they're both based on the monthly, you know, you get a certain amount of, of uh, summarizations um, and then you can pay for additional. So why use this? Before we go into this real quick, obviously the first one I'm going to talk about is TLDR this. Uh, but what is the big use case for this? And one of those is, you know, taking in information is something that's coming on faster and faster these days. And that's highly likely to continue, right? And so we want to read articles. We want to take in new information, um, not only to learn, but also that's the way we're built, right? We're human beings. New information is, uh, by definition, interesting to us. Uh, and that's, again, how we get either better at things, we learn more, we stay informed. Um, and I've found too that I just enjoy it. And I'm sure a lot of you do too as well. Um, I've tried before limiting what I take in to certain topics and that really didn't work for me. Kind of having a whitelist, if you will, um, really didn't work for me. And I like being widely read. I like to take you know these different ideas. You never know where these um, interesting connections and these thoughts are gonna lead you. But we have to respect our time, right? So we can't just read everything. Um, so these summarizers can be great uh, to get the gist of an article, maybe a long newsletter you got in the email. You're like, oh, I kind of, or I want to read this, but I'm not sure if this is, you know, really uh, pertinent or what the main point is. I don't want to read the entire thing. Um, a lot of times, what you could do to even save yourself some time is scroll to the end, read the summary of an article. Right, that can be a great way. But maybe you do want to see, hey, there's some facts. Uh, maybe there's a, a long article about current events from like, um, I don't I'm trying to think of one like the Atlantic or something like that. And you just want to see, maybe I want to find out about this and see if there's uh, some interesting information here. So with that in mind, that is my main use case. And so right now these tools are great as they are. And this is really a leap forward um, using some of these tools. Um, I don't know for sure. I assume they probably use GPT-3 bot, something like that on the back end. Uh, but what I really, really like about these in the future and where I see this going is tying in with other tools. So I recently uh, was writing a newsletter and was talking about how I use Readwise, which is another great tool you should check out. And I'm using what's uh, right now their beta uh, read or reader. And I use that to save articles, read them later, highlight, export the highlights. All this stuff is automated uh, as far as the highlights and exporting. And I see this being kind of the next thing where okay, well, this is great that it summarizes, but I don't want to interrupt my kind of workflow and my process around reading around all of this information gathering um, and, and have to come out and do this. It's fine for now, but I see this stuff being built into other tools uh, and being really powerful in the future. So with that said, let's take these for a little bit of a spin and uh, hopefully I've got enough credits left on the account uh, before I choose which one. And you can see how uh, both of these work. So I've got an article that I was referencing in my newsletter by Taylor Pearson. Um, interesting article uh, here. You should check it out sometime. So we're going to take that and we're going to enter the URL. And then you've got two, uh, two options here. You can do short and concise. So that's going to give you one output. Uh, or you can do detailed section wise. So basically by sections of the article, it'll give you it. And you could do key sentences or AI human-like summary. So what I'm going to do is click over here to the AI and we're just going to do short summary. So this is kind of what you would want to do to give you like, hey, I want a paragraph to summarize the entire article. And if we come back over here, you can see that this is um, not super duper long, but definitely not short. Lots of uh, thoughts going on in there, uh, several paragraphs. So let's summarize it and see what we get. So real time, you can see this does not take very long, right? That was very, uh, very short. And let's look at what it says. So it says a paper uh, that looks as humans as information processing machines that are compressing information to make themselves more efficient, uh, blah, 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 good investors, uh, investment decision, good leaders can look at their industry. Um, okay, yeah, so it's okay in this case, which is kind of funny to me, this one did a, what I would call an okay job, but missed some of the points. So let's take that back and go back to uh, section wise. 
and let's use the same thing. Oh no, I used it up. Okay, um, but we can do this on the next one and take a look and see what the differences are. All right, so let's hop over. This is the other one I wanted to share, which is WordTune. Their other product, which is, uh, I think it's, um, it's like right, or it's just WordTune. Um, it's kind of cool for highlighting and like rewriting uh, lines. It's really cool. Check it out sometime. Um, so let's go ahead. Oh no, something went wrong. Well, let me pause and try this. Okay, so not sure what was going on there with the URL. Didn't like it. Um, but anyways, what I ended up doing was uh, downloading the pages of PDF and uploading it. So over here, you can see that already that this is a little bit different, right? You can see that We've got the original source on the left, and then on the right, you get these uh, summaries, okay? And you can uh, group them, or you can ungroup, um, where you'll now see, okay, we're on the first page, and we only have one. And then you go down here, and, and it just basically gives you, next to the page it's on, um, what happens. And so this is an interesting way of presenting it, and honestly, I kind of, I'm drawn towards this one. It can be more distracting, because you go back to the source, but this way, it lets you compare and say, oh, okay, this is really interesting. What else do they say about this? Um, or you could just scan through the summaries and say which ones I'm interested in. So maybe that's where you want to group them. And for example, maybe you click on that one and you come down here and that's what you want to come into. Cool. So um, really interesting uh, tools. I find them uh, really helpful, again, to quickly get the gist. And a good thing to remember is to not take the output at 100% face value, right? This is being done with uh, probably, I don't know for sure, but the GPT-3 bot uh, in the future might be done with something else, but it is summarizing. And there is a chance for things to get garbled in translation. Um, it's using some sort of algorithm. So it's meant to be uh, exactly that, just kind of a summary and a, uh, a shortened version with highlights. So be careful. Um, I certainly wouldn't use the outputs as like the, take it as truth. Like that's exactly what was in the article. If you want to reference it, you definitely want to go back to the source article, make sure, especially for any facts, figures, things like that, um, or quotes that you're doing that. But as a high level overview, these tools can be really powerful. Um, really liking them and, and looking forward to using these again, as I said, integrated with other tools. So highly suggest checking both of these out, give them a spin and uh, see how they work for you.